In The Truman Show, the main character is unknowingly on a reality TV show that tracks his every move. In order to keep him on the island where the filming's taking place, they orchestrated a childhood trauma that left him terrified of water, so he's unwilling to take the boat to leave. He's bombarded with propaganda about the dangers of flying to disincentivize him from taking the flight. The residents in M. Night Shyamalan's The Village are confined to this small village surrounded by forests that contain these red monsters known as those we don't speak of. The community has an uneasy alliance with these monsters, where they'll leave them alone, provided that no one enters the forest. The reality of it is, though, the monsters are invented by the founders of the village who decided to leave civilized society and are living in an 18th century cosplay. To make sure that people don't find out they're living in the modern world, they invented these monsters so that no one will leave. In mythology, there were dragons and leviathans and monsters that kept people from exploring. Today, we have the news and war and turmoil. When I first started traveling, I was told, if you leave the resorts in Mexico, that's a wrap for you. I've now been here for five years and have yet to even step foot on a resort. Before moving to South Korea, I was told that the war with North Korea would pop off at any moment. When you get there and ask the residents about it, no one knows what you're talking about. How much of the things we hear are reality and how much is designed to keep us where we are? To keep the NPCs in their map so they don't wander off too far. How much is designed to help us construct our own prison to be locked into? I'm not sure what's trustworthy or what's real because every piece of evidence that filters down to us is tinged with the special